What's up guys, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to do fade outs on samples. So this is going to be really important for beginners, novices, but uh, I myself, I didn't know about this for a long time. And uh, fade outs are going to be um, those nice little curves at the end of your samples. And a lot of people want to do this automatically, so there's a variety of methods we can do this. I used to draw the volume envelope, I would draw the curve and fade it out. Um, of course, if there's a desired effect you want to get, or you're doing that on your master, by all means, that's still a good uh, viable option. The reason why you want to use fade outs is because uh, when you work with a lot of samples, a lot of effects, uh, vocal chops and things like that, when you want to avoid uh, clicks and beeps um, due to like an unexpected end of the sample, then these fade outs are your friend. They're going to save you a lot of time versus drawing automation clips. So let's just jump right into it. Let's play back the ride very basic um, and there's this de-clicking area so the de-clicking area is your important one you can just double click a sample to bring it up and the two default options they say no bleeding so <clears throat> no bleeding sorry um, and there's a few more options transient generic smooth and crossfade so the intensity of that curve increases as you go with the next option so let's go with transient now with transient, you'll see nothing changed. Everything looks similar. However, if I take this, these samples, and I, you know, take it away from that zero dB because it already fades out pretty well. If I make it about half the size, you can see that there's a tiny little, um, little fade out there. And that's very useful because now we don't have to draw a volume envelope. We don't have to draw you know, this type of curve to replicate it. We can just leave it be and the sample will take care of it for us, which is really cool. Now the effect will increase as you um, take a step down. So generic transient's gonna be good for, you know, your snappy percussion um, or you have like a vocal chop that you wanna quickly fade out. Maybe you're using it in repetition in a pattern. Uh, we have generic, which is a bit smoother curve and we go to smooth, which you can see kind of fades out and you can see that um, if you don't mind doing that and you don't care about things stacking, um, then definitely use something like smooth on your effects, downlifters, uplifters, things like that it would be useful. And then we have crossfade. So crossfade is gonna be a, the, mo the most smoothest curve and uh, just remember that you won't see that curve until you actually pull it to the left and you make adjustments like this and now you'll see it take place. So we'll go again from crossfade. You can see when I don't use it, it can be a potential problem. Um, if you have samples that just click like this, but then just switching to simply even transient, the bleeding, the you get a nice little smooth fade out. So I think uh, you guys will definitely be able to use this, especially novices. If you guys are using FL Studio and you're wondering, hey, how do I fade out samples like in Sony Vegas or in other uh, software where it does it automatically for you, you just gotta opt into that. So open your sample up, de-clicking, and the modes from the most intense fade out are of course crossfade, smooth, generic, and transient. Find the one that you like, and if you don't see the effect on your screen, drag the sample, cut it so you can see that curve show up. If you don't want it, you can just opt into the transient, no bleeding, or even this out, no bleeding. They both do not provide any bleeding, and we're back to our regular sample. So I hope you guys like this tutorial. Again, I'm keeping these tutorials short and sweet so you guys can follow through, find what it is you're looking for, and uh, I hope you guys can implement this in your work. Let me know what you guys thought. Comment below. If you like this video, please show me some love. Like that video, smash that. If you don't like it, give me a dislike. Make sure you guys are subscribed, and I got some tons of new music coming. I got my podcast, getting that ready for you guys too. So I'll see you guys later. I'll see you in the next video or in the next tutorial. Cheers, take it easy. Yeah, vegan,